I just saw you get beat up by a bunch of sexy sexy hot hookers. Shut up. I am Kelsey's dad, my name is Kevin and I will kill you. Oh my god you are Kelsey's dad, I know you. Shut up! Kelsey is at Nicole's house. Thank you. Wait. Why did I tell you that? Kelsey's abusive father is knocking at our door, don't answer it Chris. Don't worry babe, I'm so fucking buff and I will beat the shit out of that man. Hi. I will kill you. <sighs> what the fuck Chris, you said you would save us. I may be in my underwear, but I'll kill you before you can hurt her again. Don't call the police, I won't. I will. Danny. What are you doing in my house? Inviting the police after accidentally telling Kelsey's dad where Kelsey is. I will kill you all. You're under arrest. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Why did you save us? Because Kelsey is my half-sister. We share the same mom, but our mom is a drug addict. Does Kelsey know? Boo-hoo. Now's not a good time, Nicole. Please read a room. Hey, Danny. Sorry for breaking up with you. That's okay. I forgive you, but not really. Wait. I'm not gay. Okay, so you're bisexual? Oh my god. Biphobia runs in my family. I will prove to you that I like men only. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Nicole. Wow. I did not vibe with that. I don't know, I kind of did. No, you didn't. I don't know, I kind of want to keep going. Okay, but seriously, this isn't vibing with me. I'm kind of really vibing right now, not going to lie. But please tell me that I am just dreaming. Ryan, it's not a dream. Oh, okay. I'm not actually vibing anymore now that I know this is real. Let's never ever talk about this again. Deal. Okay, so maybe I am bisexual. And you had to kiss Ryan of all people for you to realize that? Yes. Valid. When we were younger I erased your memory but I want to say what you forgot. I was in love with you when we were children. You have an incredibly sad backstory about walking in on your parents who participated in a joint suicide in your family basement which resulted in a lifelong fear of basements. I helped you come up with the nickname Fang, your real name is Daniel. You suddenly lost your memories when we were children, though and so I erased everyone in the orphanage's memories also, we all met again after escaping the orphanage. I also still have the biggest crush on you. The end. What's that Wes? You think I'm too beautiful to self-harm? Thank you, Wes. Also, I know it's not my place, but I saw you sell something to someone earlier. Do you sell drugs? Oh, it's none of my business? That's okay, that's fine, I'm just a little worried is all, but if you know what you're doing then I trust you. What's that? You want to skip classes together? To avoid autumn? Oh my, Wes. You were so edgy and cool, and so very dreamy and sensitive, and nothing like my old boyfriend Ryan White. Wow Wes, I love hanging out with you. You always have so much to say and I love telling you about all my secrets knowing I can trust you to keep them to yourself. Wes, I can't believe you had a crush on me for a whole year, that's so cute. I hope Ryan isn't in heaven jealous of me right now. You are a whore for self-harming. Artem, I don't think those two things are related. Sell me Maddie's secrets. What's that? You don't want to? Okay then I will blackmail you. What? 
You don't want me to blackmail you? Okay. Thanks for telling me Maddie's secrets then. Boo hoo. All I do is cry. Let me fix you. I will prove to you that I like men only. Maybe I am bisexual. Wow, you look amazing, babe. But I don't want to be your girlfriend just yet since I am going through some stuff and have commitment issues. I am not covering up anymore. I own my body again and everyone should shut the fuck up and stop bullying me for my self-harm scars. Hi, I am your principal and found out through rumors about some shitty stuff. Who the fuck kind of talkative asshole rumor spreader would tell you that? Oh my god, you piece of fucking shit. I can't believe you told everyone about me, you fucking blabbermouth. Could you just keep your mouth shut for once in your fucking life? What's that, Wes? You're dating Autumn and you still consensually kissed me? Next thing you'll tell me is that you're a murderer too. Oh my god, Wes. You edgy motherfucker. You are a traitor, a cheater, a murderer, and an edgelord. No, shut up, I won't let you explain. Next thing you'll tell me is that you're gay too. I am running away and I am taking the cat with me. Meow. I ship Danny's not on fire and the amazing Phil. You have a problem. Hi. Ryan. Drake. Ryan. I said Drake. Oh. Sorry, my hearing is bad. But Ryan is still alive. Mom, come talk to this fat fucking liar. Hey, not Ryan. How did you find us? Actually, this is a coincidence. I really didn't know this was your house. I was just randomly knocking on doors trying to find somewhere to sleep. I'm kind of homeless. Okay, you can stay with us, but only because I want you to tell me your life drama. Thank you, Roxy. You are such a MILF. Thank you, thank you. Also, Drake Hunger. I hope you like Sammy's. Oh, bro, do I love a fucking Sammy. Mad Maddie is mad. Dad, not now. Or as the kids say. Hella mad, hella sad. Dad, could you please stop using Tumblr? Oh, hey, Ryan. Nice haircut. I love your hot wife's sandwiches. They are delicious. Wait. Ryan? I'm Drake, his twin brother. No one is happy to see Drake. Wow, everyone hates me. Even Ariel's mom hates me and tried to stab me, but I ran away. Also, Ryan is totally alive. Then why hasn't Ryan come for me? Nicole could tell him where I live. 1. I don't know who Nicole is apparently and 2. Ryan is like 15. I really don't think he can afford to just suddenly leave to find you. Maddie, don't be selfish again. Am I being selfish again? Yes. 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 I don't want to believe this. Maybe you don't want to believe it because you want to move on. Shut up, Drake. Just because you're the most intelligent character of this series doesn't mean you're allowed to read into my character and tell me about all of my problems. Well, it turns out that finding a vampire cure is harder than I thought. I'm sorry that the person you used to love broke your heart. Drama, but you're the one who broke my heart. Oh god, that is some drama. Drake, you can stay with us. Really? What's the worst that could happen? You are the slut that stole Christmas. It's like summer. Anyway, Maddie, you horrible bitch. It's show and tell. Come on, cry for the class and tell them how bad your life is without cancer. It must suck so much having pretty girl privilege. What is happening right now? I just want to learn math. I didn't ask to be pretty, I just want to learn. 
I'll be dead in seven months. I'm terminally ill, people put up with me because I'm bald. Oh no, Autumn. I didn't know. I hope Fang isn't cheating on me with that underage vampire. Hey douchebag. What's that? Autumn was blackmailing you and was going to tell everyone about how you're a murderer. Wes, you're not special, everyone I know has murdered someone bro, you wanna be edgy freak. Oh you want to tell me your story, go ahead, I'll humor you. You used to sell drugs, okay, and? What's that? You had a sister that was killed by your best friend, so you killed him as revenge, and now Autumn is paying you to date her as her dying wish. Oh no don't cry Wes, your tragic backstory actually changed my mind. You are not a douchebag. Thanks. I learned that you can't put value onto sadness. I love soap operas. Have you noticed how great our chemistry is together? Maddie, please, don't say that, we are never ever going to happen, unfortunately. Don't leave, I like having you around. Don't worry, I will leave you alone when we go back to see everyone again. I need to say sorry to Ryan for wanting to move on. You're allowed to move on, it's been like three years. I know, I just feel guilty. Why am I the only smart character? I'm scared to see everyone. Me too. I'm finally ready to wear clothes that fit me. Danny, you look tired and really sick and pale and you smell bad. Are you okay? I'm homeless. Live with me and Kelsey and my biphobic dad, what's the worst that could happen? I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with you and Raven talking to each other. Babe, I am so sorry. I want to lay in the middle of the road and wait for either Ryan or the embrace of death. That might be dramatic, but I am coming to terms with how dramatic I am. Hello Maddie, you're awake. When did you get here? I miss your eyes. I just miss you a lot, Maddie. Boo-hoo. Why are you crying? Because I thought you were dead for so long and I missed you. You're so freaking cute. It is a hot day. Put on my flip-flop. Go to Playa de Sol. I'm feeling tip-top. Give me some lotion. Sex on the beach I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Ryan White Hola, hola